me Shishi baby thanks so much for tuning in with me today today's video is going to be about my New Year's resolutions and this video is a collab with Rihanna and Crystal I will have their channels link in my description box below and once you finish watching my video uh, planner style for my New Year's resolutions. Go over and watch their New Year's resolutions video and see how they decided to do theirs. All right, so I am going to be doing something that I saw on Marquita's page with the flip out from uh, At Home with Kita uh, with the flip out version of the plant of the goal resolutions, goal setting sheets. Now I'm also going to be doing monthly goal setting so i'm not overwhelmed with what i set for my resolutions for the entire year and so um, i'm going to do this i guess as an overview of what i am setting for my goals for the year um, and so it's going to be set up in a few different sections the first section that i have is going to be just the cover page it's going to just say you know what it is new year's resolutions and everything and so we'll have that and it's going to basically flip out like this, like a trifold. So hopefully I can get it up there, right, y'all? <laughs> I really hope so. And I'm about to mess up already. I ain't even started yet. Okay. And so we'll do that. And I want to use washi, of course, to get it taped down. I pick, pre-picked out some stickers. I plan on using quite a few of them on one part of it, not so much on another. We're going to be doing some writing and some stickering and, and everything. This is the bag, so these are going to get cut off. I'm going to cut off this and just, do I want to do it that way? I don't know. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Yes, this is getting cut off. I cannot cut straight to save my life, y'all. It is a struggle for me. Thank God for washi tape. I think I did all right this time. I'm over here shaking. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so this is the cover, and I have to take this sticker off and recenter it. It's not centered anymore. to putting that on until I've actually gotten the washi tape on and I can see it line up. Oh, this one's not as straight. Yeah, definitely messed that up. Oh well. Washi tape to the rescue. So, I am going to be using some gold. So, let's see how this is going to flip out here. All right. Let me see. That worked. Okay. Washi tape is horrible too, y'all. It's not sticking. I don't know where I got it from. It's not the best. I hate 
I'm using scissors. But I can't open the drawer because I got stickers all over the front of it. I hate using stickers to cut my washi tape off. I'm always afraid I'm gonna mess up. All right, so that's front and back. And, oh goodness, that's not, Definitely got to do better than that. I'm going to go back with some blue runner, possibly, if that keeps coming up. All right, so that's that. Now, how are we doing the rest of it? I want it to be like this. Okay. I folded it the wrong way. Okay. All right. Now we need to do this part here. All right, so with all the struggling I did, I finally got it to lay correctly. And just to finish it off, because this is hideous alongside all the gold. All right. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I think we should just leave it like that. Okay, I'm back. Just kidding. Okay, so do I want to actually put a border? Let's see. Are any of these new sticker books that I have actually gold? Huh. That is a fantastic question. Yep, here's one. Let's see if we can find a cute border to use in a new journaling sticker book to lay the title of this down. Nope. All of the like round borders and stuff are black and white. And I think that the, oh no, the other journaling. Oh, found something. Yes, this is gonna be perfect. This is going to be perfect. I'm so excited. Okay, where is it? And we're gonna do this out of, and this is the, um. here we go. So where is it? Here we go. This is the, journaling doodle sticker book I'm gonna use this okay I don't know what got underneath here Oh, it's a hole in it from when I picked it up with the um, oil tweezers. All right, New Year's resolutions. I also think I am going to use one of these memory keepers. Holidays, where is it? Okay, here we go. And think this would be pretty dope to put in here. If I can get them up.
Ooh, can't take it off. Gosh, I hate when I end up ripping something and I can't get it back up. Oh, we can fix it somehow. It's so off center, it's going to annoy me so bad. I don't like these. All right. Mm. I don't like these little stars, but I'm gonna use a couple of them. I think they look hard, like, I don't even know. Just look really weird to me. All right, I was able to open the drawer up. Just can't close it back up now. All right, I'm almost done. This page, at least. All right, that's good. All right, so front page is done. I should put 2019 up there, what y'all think? I think I'm going to, I think I'm gonna do it in black. Back in soon.
like how that's looking, y'all. Okay, so when you open it up, this is the first thing you're gonna see. So, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna put down my words for the year. And so, for my words for the year, I chose um, six different words for the year, and they all were based on different areas of my life. And so, the first area is, um, personal and so I chose consistency for that and then the second area was relationship and I chose presence motivational was the third and then I chose baby um, the fourth was encouraging and so I chose choice and the fifth was financial so I chose budgeting budgeting the sixth was spiritual and so I chose growth and um, for all for of course different reasons um, Personal, of course, I just want to be consistent in all that I am doing. And so with consistency, I just chose to put down this sticker, which says follow the plan. And I'm going to go back in and I'm going to just, because I could not find anything. I'm going to write down the word I have no practice using these, so if it doesn't turn out good, I don't know. So we got personal consistency and I just put follow the plan up there for that. Um, I'm supposed to write down my words for the year. Like the fact that, that this is the word for the year. So I don't know what I have enough letters to do that in with.
keep on having to flip back over it, y'all, to make sure that I ain't tripping and that it looks, that it's lined up right. Okay, word of the year. I wonder if I can get this off. All right, that's better. Word of the year, y'all. All right. Okay, so we got that personal inconsistency. And the next one was relationships, which I am... I chose family for that as the sticker that I was going to use. So I'm going to just stick that one right there. And like I said, I chose to, I chose be present. And so I'm going to put this right here. Be present. Family. Then the next one that I'm going to put down is going to be my I'm gonna put the encouragement one down. Let me just stick that one right here. Be an encourager, choose joy, and I choose joy. Let me just stick those here. Um, let's see what else. So spiritual. Uh, let me do the budgeting one first. So for the budgeting one, I chose a couple of stickers for it. And here they are. Um, I wanna make sure I put that at the bottom. So just put that here. And This one, and for and the the budgeting uh, for financial, and then um, I'm missing one. Oh, the baby. Um, I think I'm just leave that one all of the motivational one because I feel like I'm pretty motivated with all of this to do what I need to do. But anyway, so I chose. 
that's not gonna work. Okay. So I chose for my spiritual and growth one, give it all to the Lord as a sticker to just put down for it. Hopefully I can line these itty bitty stickers up. I chose create me a clean heart, oh Lord. Once again, perfect timing. I gotta go back and actually see if you can hear the background noise that I be hearing sometimes. Be a light to the world, Jesus first. I should have put this up there first. Too late now, not taking nothing off. Walk by faith. And last but not least, and not at all, only but just the last one that I could fit up here redeemed oh how cute is that they all are in like order as far as length I like that okay so and that's what I put down for my spiritual growth word for the year so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to actually write down the words of the year All right, and then on to the actual details, y'all. I don't plan on doing very much like pretty stuff on here for the details for my 2019 resolutions, but I am going to um, tell you what they are and I'm going to go ahead and write them in and number them. So I have a total of 15 of them for my 2019 resolutions. And I am going to use the new journaling sticker book to number them with the pretty number stickers they have in here I think they're just so cute if I can find them here they go aren't they pretty y'all so I'm going to use the ones with the black outlines to number my number 1 through 15 and then I'll go back and I'll do I want to use the black boxes okay I think I'm going to use every other I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so hold on. One more thing that I have to do before I start that. I found my resolutions word. I had it out. I don't know what happened to it. The resolutions word. Put that right there in the middle. I can get it centered. Hold on. Can't see. Y'all got my eyes are horrible. Anybody else have that problem when they're doing their um, planners and they're trying to film <laughs> and? You can't see, so you, you know, because of where it's sitting and not wanting to come out of frame. So you gotta bring it mad close to your face to be able to see it and get out of frame. All right, I'm also gonna use this sticker, which says out with the old and with the new. Thought that was super cute. I'm gonna put these random little confetti pieces around here too, and the gold pieces. All right, so the numbers, the numbers, the numbers. Don't wanna use, I'm gonna use the gold to outline because I'm writing in black.
sorry for that brief pause there my, when my kids call from school all right so I'm, I'm, now i'm just gonna go back and i'm gonna write in my if i can find them oh my goodness where did i put my stuff my um actual resolutions that i wrote down for the year they're not in any specific order i'm just gonna write them down i gotta take this bracelet off all right, so the first one was to get Maya on a pump. My daughter, as you all know, if you um, watch my videos, is a type one diabetic. So I'll get my daughter set up with an insulin pump. It is a lot, y'all, having to have her take her sugar and get shots. She gets no more, no less than four insulin shots a day, and she has to prick her finger no less than four times a day to check her and to check her actual um, glucose levels and so that is overwhelming for me and her and I would like to be able to get her moved over to something that be um, you know definitely easier for her to have to manage and for us as well but with that we you know that goes again back to me needing to be consistent with stuff so we have to be able to gain some consistency make some records for a long time um, of what we're doing with her in order to get her qualified to be able to have the insurance cover her for the insulin pump and so we're going to be working on that hard throughout this first part of the year and hopefully by the time spring break comes we can get her set on the insulin pump um, another one of my goals is to improve my credit score to go along with that pay off debt the next thing is to work on to basically um work on finances and i know what this is for my endo procedure endo process all right so what this endo process is y'all is okay so i had the eshore um, birth control contraceptive, which is a permanent birth control implanted in my fallopian tubes. And I'll tell you a story about that later. I'll do it on a separate video. Anyway, at the end of the day, last year I had to have my tubes removed. When I had to put in, I was in a different place in life and I wasn't with my husband, ne didn't even know who he was, didn't, had never met him. So life happened, things changed, now I want a baby. And I had to have my fallopian tubes removed, and so now I can definitely not naturally conceive. So I have to uh, work on getting my finances together so that we could do the endo process, which is similar to in vitro fertilization. It's just um, a little more cost effective, and it works um, differently. It's more so for people who are fertile and you know don't have problems with conceiving, but they just can't do it naturally. So. Um, we're going to be working on that and like I said if you just look out for um, over the next couple of months I'm going to do a whole video on that on my on that side of my life um, Let me know if it's something you'd be interested in hearing about let me know if you had issue and you got um, Had issues with yours The next one is going to be and I've already done some things and planning for it, but I'm of course going to be trying to step it up and take it to the next level um, and that is funding my uh, excuse me that is launching my business and website so the next thing is going to be my growth on my YouTube channel and Instagram so I'm definitely gonna work on growing my YouTube and Instagram channel the next thing is to uh, cook regularly I'm so wishy-washy with cooking y'all and that when I say regularly, I mean four times a week um, So the next thing is focusing on my relationship with God Okay, and then it's spending more time uh, Doing fun stuff with my family like just spending more time with my family all together and then we have improving our family's routine and schedule which definitely can need some work, need some work. And I was just thinking about one thing in specific. My kids have way too much screen time. And I think that we need to just like construct a way, um, of course, creatively being responsible, a, a responsible parent and wanting to not take something away from them and give them something else to replace it. Uh, but creative ways to replace screen time for them, I think is something I really want to work on this year. 
And then goes without saying, of course, self-care, including health uh, for myself and, you know, personal time where I get to do things that I want to do, making sure that, you know, I am you know, putting money to the side for myself, you know, that just is for me. So those things are things that I definitely want to make sure that I'm not excluding from this year coming up. Um, next, working, um, use a working schedule. What I say when I mean that is I stay over planning for stuff, y'all. I stay not doing stuff on my list because it's completely unrealistic to even have put it down. So I need to be realistic in the goals that I set for myself as far as my personal schedule and my plans. Um, so I'm going to also put up here, be realistic. So the next one that I'm going to put is to dedicate time to draw, write, journal, And read. I want to um, paint my walls, paint house. I want to buy a new bedroom suit and a new dining room suit. And then finally, um, I want to make sure that I'm reading the Bible regularly and committing to um, committing scriptures to memory. So reading, read Bible regularly and then commit scriptures to memory all right so that's my whole list y'all of things that i um goals that i've set for myself resolutions that i have set for uh, the year are any of the things that I have in mind for my year similar to things that you have in mind for yours? Um, if so, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about my goals and the things that I kind of have mentioned um, as it pertains to them. What do you think? What y'all think about what I've got set up for myself um, as far as stuff that I'm planning on accomplishing, habits that I want to either keep or grow in uh, for this year? What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you do like this video, hit that like button. And if you are not already, I certainly hope you decide to subscribe to my channel. If you, again, have come over from one of the other ladies that are a part of this collab with me's channel, thank you so, 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 so much for coming by and taking a look and seeing what my uh, resolutions for 2019 look like today. Um, I certainly hope you decide to stick around if you think you like my content and it's something that you'd like to see more of. I do encourage you to go and take a look at the other, other videos that I have posted. I have quite a collection of videos that are on my channel I'm certain there's something there that you may like to um, look at um, and like I said subscribe if you do think that my content is something that you um, would like to keep up with hit that notification bell if you're using the app I thank y'all so much for tuning in and um, doing this with me today. So I'm very glad that I was able to get this completed today and that I was able to be a part of the group collab um, with Rihanna and Crystal. And again, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about this cute little um, yearly resolution, 2019 resolution page that I have created. And... Thanks again so much for watching you guys. Until next time, bye.